My name is Innocent Ngwenya. I want to tell you about how the hunger has changed my life. Sometimes it kind of take or disturb your brain because when, like, when you are very hungry, the only thing you want, the only thing you want is food. It doesn't matter how you're getting the food, but when you go out there, you try to find anything that you can to survive. Myself, including my siblings, at the time when we were growing up, it was not easy because there was not enough food at home. From the minute I caught small bed and be able to eat and sleep with something on my belly, it encourages me to go and hunt and hunt more. Because the more I was hunting, is the more I was getting. So we started with sunbeds, wax bill, and we'll go for doves, and then Franklin's, guinea fowls. Soon I was hunting for money, not for food. I work out that if you fetch a leopard, the skin can give you lots of money. You can fetch a huge price from the leopard skin. They were very valuable to Sangomas. When I look back now at this time, I realize how much I was treading down the wrong path. I have never had someone to guide me before, and my head was down in a scent of money. At this point, some of the older boys were even starting to jump over the fence into the manuality to hunt even bigger animals, like water, kudu, sometimes even impalas. A high risk with very high illegal operation that could have easily led even to bigger animals, like rhino. I was on the trip. What really saved me though was another kind of a hunger. A hunger to meet my father. It was as almost as if he was waiting for me to go and meet him. Because the moment we get to stay together or to, att to attach, there was no looking back. All the things that he taught me and he said to me, it was things that were guiding me. And I can see from him that he was waiting for long to get me into him. And I think he knew that one day I will go and find him. I think so. My father, he was a former Londolozi chef. And then he worked as a ranger as well at a lodge called Ngara. So he brought me into the reserve where he was working. And he started to show me how important the nature was to our life. My father also knew Alex van den Heeven and Renia Simflongo, the founder of the Trekker Academy here at Londolozi. The Trekker Academy has changed my life because it opens up the real world for me. It makes me to see the world in reality. It was with the Trekker Academy that my life truly changed and that I am where I am today. Early one morning, I was asked by Pocky, my new mentor, to follow the Hemsburg. The moment I began on the path, the trekking instinct came alive inside me, and I felt myself almost pull along the trail like a magnet. I suddenly understood myself as part of nature. I wasn't seeing the tracks, I was feeling them deep inside me somewhere. And that is how I knew that the oryx was there before I saw it. But when I look up, there it seems to be an infinite space around me and this one magnificent creature standing in it. Because it was my first time seeing it, it was so close and it was so beautiful. I suddenly have this overwhelming urge to cry. I felt the energy of hunger in me that has always driven me wanted to hunt and kill these animals literally shift away. A 
and suddenly I realized that I wanted to become one of the best trekkers in the world. At first, I trekked at Ingala, living in the same small room as my father. From never really knowing the man, now we saw each other all the time, and I continue to learn from him. It was at the same time that he was diagnosed with cancer, and we both knew that we were coming to an end. The most important thing that I've learned from my father is to respect nature, respect yourself, and to respect other people. So after his passing, I continued to work two more years at Ghana. Then I left and came here at Londolozi. When I was tracking those leopards, it dawned on me that just a few years ago, I was catching and killing the same animals in snares. That memory makes me sad. But again, it fills me with joy and pride that at least now I can say that my skills and work helps to protect them. Here I track them every day, and it's one of the most safe heaven for them in the world. To my father, Alex, Renias, and Pocky, they have shown me the power of following your own tracks. They've showed me that when you protect wildlife and wild places, you create a better living for yourself and for your loved ones. I saw that you can make it in life even if you don't have money. As long as you've got hands and a deep hunger for a better life, you can become whatever it is that you want.